see Jesus stripped of majesty He hangs disfigured on a tree A man of grief by man betrayed Like one from whom we turn away Led like a lamb without In mockery with violence cried A sacrificial offering Atoning for his people's sin Oh, what amazing love I bow before the cross my pride reduced to dust What amazing love It overwhelms my soul My broken life made whole See Jesus cold within the grave Cut off from life our lives to save Hallelujah. Let Lord Jesus Christ shine forth. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are joining us. Welcome to another live stream with DCCI Ministries on Good Friday, as we are reflecting death of Lord Jesus Christ. I do have Jai Apologetic on the line with me. Peace of Christ be with you, brother. 
Hello, sister, peace of Christ be with you and with all of the viewers today. Yes, uh, as you said, today we are remembering Good Friday, the Friday where the Lord Jesus was on the cross, died for our sins, and uh, we're looking forward to the stream today. Um, actually, you know what, Jai? I, I shouldn't be having in my live streams anymore. Oh, why is that? Because... <laughs> You caused trouble on my live stream with Thought of Christ the other day. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, we had the Sharia uh, police on us, or Sharia tube on us. Um, yeah, we wasn't expecting that. Uh, that was very strange. Um, <laughs> so, wow. you are a troublemaker. How are you doing, brother? How is life with you? <laughs> Uh, praise God. I'm uh, doing very well. I'm blessed and um, happy to be here. So yeah, thanks for having me on. Um, how are you, sister? Uh, by God's grace, I'm good. Thank you. Uh, so we officially kicked you out from UK now. How is life wherever you are, brother? <laughs> yes. Well, um, life is Did good. In this rain? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's yeah the weather changes a little different but yeah it's um it's it's good um i really enjoyed uh, my time uh in the uk and um hopefully we'll be uh, going back soon so yeah, i'm doing great uh so life is good you know wherever 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 you are as long as you're trying to live according to the lord's will in your life it's no matter where you are it's good Good. Um, it's good that you are missing rain and you are missing us. That's always positive. <laughs> um, so tonight we are going to talk about Good Friday. And uh, I'm going to put the link in the chat. If anyone wanted to call in, they are very welcome. Copied. They are very welcome to call in. Uh, we are talking about this because it is Good Friday. It is Good yes. Friday. I put the link in the chat and then I linked it so everything should be okay. Hmm. Okay. So, Jai. Yes. Good Friday is the day around 33 AD, Lord Jesus Christ nailed on the cross for the sins of humanity. Mm. And this week we had church and yesterday we had um lot supper and food washing and today we had again church services tomorrow yes. is holy saturday and sunday is resurrection uh day yes, Why, yes while kind of we are talking about death of someone and in this mm. occasion we are talking about death of lord jesus christ mm. why is it good friday yeah, you know this. This is interesting. Now, in some languages, it's actually called uh, like the Friday of mourning. So, in some languages, um, if people speak another language in the chat, maybe in your other language, this day is not referred to as Good Friday, but it's referred to as you know the Friday of mourning or Sad Friday or different di different kind of variations of that. <clears throat> and so, the reason why that is is because it can be both days is because this is the day that the Lord died for us. So in a sense, there's a lot of, there's a lot of mourning and there's a lot of weeping, the sufferings of the Lord. And it's also the best day. Why? Because he died for our sins. He died for our sins. Uh, and uh, I see a daughter of Christ is with us. So, so I welcome daughter of Christ. And yeah, so he died for our sins. So that's why you have, both, both, you have both titles. In, in some languages, it's referred to as the Friday of Morning. In other languages, it's referred to as Good Friday because it is a very mourn, mournful day where you can weep and you can think about the sufferings of the Lord Jesus. But it's also very rejoicing at the same time because it means that our sins are paid for and he took our sins on himself. So that's a little bit uh, behind both names and why, why it works like that. So they're not contradictory. It's just your perspective on, yeah, so. Thank, thank you, brother. Um, yes, check. Um, oh, sorry, I, I got distracted by something. Um, oh. Peace of Christ, peace of Christ, be with you, daughter of Christ. 
And with you, sister, and brother Jai. Hello, everyone. And how are you, sister? Since you are the holiest one, since your church was late, the rest of us. I know. They do it later and later, so we're getting holier every year. <laughs> um, so, um, I'm go just going to take you, um, kind of give you time to kind of um, tell us a little bit about what you've done today. But we've got someone in the background. I'll just take that person in. Oh, we've already got a guest. Yeah, we've got a guest. I'll take the person in and then we take it from there, if that's okay with you guys. Mm -hmm. We are talking about Good Friday. That means we are talking about um, death and resurrection of Lord Jesus Christ. So let's just take the person in. Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm moving the person. Um, okay, um, thought of Christ. I was just telling Jai that I shouldn't have any of you in my live streams since you are causing Sharia YouTube to get our attention. But I still took you in. How are you doing, sister? Good, sister. Thank you. Yeah, I can explain what happened there, uh, sister. You weren't here. You <laughs> weren't here. We, we, know were messing about. <laughs> we went too far. Uh, <laughs> and they were extra sensitive because they were hungry from uh, Ramadan, and so they flagged us. So that's what happened. <laughs> sure, yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah, too, yeah. So you let them to express their hunger on you, huh? Yeah, we, we just showed them if thought around the world and um, in their own TV, people making fun of um, iftar and Ramadan. So they, they got a bit sensitive. It's a sensitive time, Sister Ramadan is. It's always sensitive time. <laughs> um, they're always sensitive. Um, anyway, um, so how was Good Friday for you, beloved? What have you done today? So, yeah, I went to church uh, and we just remembered the death of the Lord Jesus. Um, we read Mark 15 and the talk was about the Lord Jesus, how he died, the horrific way in which he died and why he died. And um, he died so that we can have peace with God, so that he can lift the sin off our, from our backs, that we can't deal with sin. Um, we all sinned, but he's the only one who could. And um, it is a sad day in that he died, but it's a, rejo a just joyful day for us because uh, Christ died for us. He gave us um, the key to eternal life. He gave us, um, we were con condemned and in a miserable state and he made us his brothers. He made us children of the father, you know, adopted children. Yeah. So we're eternally grateful to him. Yeah. Through his death and resurrection, all belong to him also become um, ours. So his father becomes our father. Amen. Be beautiful, beautiful message there. Um, so I've got still the same person in the background. I'm just going to uh, click, uh, take the person in again, and then we see if the sound, if there is an issue with sound or not, we give it another chance. Otherwise, I'm going to kick out from the live stream. Hello. King, are you able to hear us? For mine, it looks like their mic is muted. I see there's a... So on their end, so, the, so, if, uh, so King, if you can unmute your microphone, there's a little microphone icon. Okay, I think... I'm not a generous person, so I okay. believe I have enough, <laughs> enough chance. Your patience um, is up, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, yeah, I give enough chance. I think if issue is mic, fix it. If issue is you are shy, then don't call in. Or issue is something else, fix that and then come back. Um, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry, but I'm not that kind and generous person I am supposed to be. So I'm still working on those things. Actually, Lord is still working on those things. Um, okay, so Dot of Christ, you express the purpose of uh, death of Lord Jesus Christ. And Jai explained a little bit on why today we call it Good Friday. 
um, can I kind of take us back to scripture and then um, kind of give you a little bit chance on, um, I don't want to focus on Islam that much because like it's not about Islam today, it's about uh, eternal son of God. Lord Jesus Christ laid his life down for humanity. Um, but I, I am also very much aware while we are reflecting death and resurrection, death of Lord Jesus Christ, I am aware that there are other individuals out there doesn't even believe that Jesus died on that cross. How do we know from the scripture that it states that Jesus died on that cross? Anyone can pick up any reference for me or do you know any reference? We can do ladies first. Um, since daughter, came, daughter of Christ jumped in late, uh, we can give her chance first. Yeah, um, I've got Romans 6. For while we were still weak, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one would dare even to die. But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Okay, so Romans talks about that Jesus Christ died. Any any other reference? Um, you so can go to any of, any of the Gospels. Yeah. Uh, we got John, John nineteen here. Um, from seven verse seventeen onwards. Um, so they took Jesus and he went out bearing his own cross to the place called the place of Ascal, which the Aramaic is called uh, in Aramaic called Golgotha. There they crucified him and with him two others on one on either side and Jesus between them. And then um, it talks then about how scripture was fulfilled through the way he was um, he, he, he was on that cross and how others took his uh, clothes cast lots for them to fulfill scripture and if you go to uh, verse 28 to 30 it says after this Jesus knowing that all was now finished said to fulfill the scripture I thirst a jar full of sour wine stood there so they put a sponge full of the sour wine on a hyssop branch and held it to his mouth when Jesus had received the sour wine he said it is finished and he bowed his head and gave up his spirit so it states he give up his spirit and then other gospel states that um, he took his last breath. Is like Can we in, in any form or any shape apply that actually he's like, as he say, it took last breath um, or he took his, um, he give up his spirit, he's still alive? No, because... Um... If you read, I mean, um, you mentioned about breathing his last in uh, Mark 15, but if if you go to John 19 when we were reading, um, they actually pierce his side to be sure that he died. Otherwise, they would have bro broken his legs as per their tradition. They did that to hasten the death if the person on the cross wasn't dead already. And if you go to verse 33, but when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead already dead they did not break his legs but one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear and at once there came out blood and water he who saw it has borne witness his testimony is true and he knows that he is telling the truth that you also may believe for these things took place that the scripture may be fulfilled that not none not none of his bones will be broken and that's according to psalm 34 that um, none of his bones will be broken but he did as it showed very clearly, he did. He did die. Okay, sister. Um, I think Mike is being fixed in the background. Um, so it's good that we are not discussing what his death means because he was dead. People who were expert on the area knew he was dead. Um, so I'm just gonna take the person in, and then we take it from there. Hello. <clears throat> Hello, Hatun. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. How are you? Who are you, sir? I'm good. Sir, who are you? I'm Muslim. Um, do you have a name? Yeah, I do. 
Would you, be, would you like to be kind enough and then tell us what is your name so we can address you in that way? Yeah, you can call me Salman. Salman. Uh, welcome to the live stream, Salman. So we are, you expressed that you are Muslim. We are talking about death of Jesus Christ. Uh, can you be kind enough and then tell us what is Islamic teachings on the death of Jesus? As for Islam, Isa has never died. You know that, I think so, very well. Um, I don't know that, because I know his story tells us Jesus died on the cross by crucifixion. Can you be kind enough and then provide some references for us? Where did you come, how did you come to that conclusion, Salman? Yeah. Well, I'm not an expert scholar, but uh, I do know it is there that he has not been killed. He is not dead. Okay, that's not good enough answer for me because the death and resurrection of Lord Jesus Christ is the foundation of my faith. For you to tell me you are not expert but you know he didn't die is not good enough answer. Please uh, back up your claims. Why do you think he didn't die? Or what happened to him? As per Islamic belief, he was raised alive before being killed. If, if according to Islamic him, belief, just a second. If Islamic belief is he raised alive uh, before he was killed, raising alive means like he wasn't alive before he's raised to alive. How did you come to conclusion that he's, he wasn't died? It is throughout the Islamic books and scholars, it is common belief that uh, while he, they were planning to kill him, he was raised up before they even came to his house. In the one that who were, sorry who were they who hmm. were trying to kill him there were people it's uh, in all the time since all the proper have always been tried to kill he was not the first one okay why they were trying to kill him what did he what did jesus do who and who were they they just isa actually preached them tawhid and to come towards allah but they did not like it they uh, were committing sir? the they were committing mischief in the land. Sir, I, they... I'm, I'm just trying to make sense of your statements, okay? Yes. Since you expressed you are not a scholar, please back up what you are saying. So why did people try to kill him? And where did you get what he was preaching and they didn't like it? Where does in the Quran, it says, um, uh, where does in the Quran, it says um, the reasoning they were trying to kill him? It's the common notion that it's not only for Isa. Throughout the history, whenever the prophets have came, they tried to stop people from committing bad things and try to bring them to one God to believe in Him and follow their duties towards Him. The so prophets throughout the history have been told, tried to kill. That is what you were told by your imams. Okay, so now move your imams from your brain and then give me some sources. So do you believe, actually not, not do you believe, let me ask you, what is your mother tongue, sir? Um, I do don't know Do you speak the language of Allah? No. No? Such a shame. Um, can you turn what your shame? tongue? What can do you mean by shame? Whosoever is born in whichever sir? reason he speaks that sir? tongue. Sir? Can you turn you turn on your Quran Surah 3 verse 55 for me, please? And can you read it for us? When Allah said, O Isa, I am to take you in full and to raise you towards myself and to cleanse you of those who disbelieve and to place those who follow you above those who disbelieve up to the day of doom. Then to me is your return, whereupon I shall judge between you in that over which you have differed. 
What does the verse tell you, sir? The verse tells us that those who were disbelievers who did not believe in Allah and Isa is his prophet. Is that what the, is that what the verse is saying? Yes. Is the verse, what does it is say? the verse on the screen? Okay, we've got Arabic speakers in the line as well. Um, beloved, if you want to jump in, just feel free to jump in. And um, Brother Jai, if you want to jump in, just feel free to jump in. So, Surah 3 verse 55 is on the screen. And it seems to me that it is saying, Allah is speaking, Oh Jesus, I will cause you to die. No. This no? is your wrong interpretation. It is my wrong interpretation? Okay. Yes. Um, what about Ibn Kathir's interpretation? On the screen, where Ibn Kathir is saying, well, there are people who say Jesus died for three hours, for seven hours, and for three days. No. What about Ibn Abbas? Do you accept Ibn Abbas's interpretation? His son never died. No, no. Do you accept? You said that Sister Atun no. gave a wrong interpretation. Yes, so I Ibn, I, Ibn Abbas, what do you think of his interpretation? Didn't Muhammad pray mm -hmm. over him that he would lead the mm -hmm. he would lead the Muslim nation, and he's mm -hmm. the interpreter of the Quran? Who? He, Ibn Abbas, you know him? No, I don't believe him. Uh, you don't believe him? What about do, Allah? Do you know? Do, oh, sorry, sister. Do you know who he is? You know who Ibn Abbas is? No, I don't want. Don't. Uh, do not want to know. As a, you don't want to know? He's your prophet's. He's your prophet's cousin. The one that your no, prophet prayed pray. over. I don't, care. The... I don't care. You don't care. Okay. What about Allah Himself? Do you care about Him? Of course. Okay. Do you know what the word mutawafika means in the verse? The Arabic word says multiple meanings. No, it's not multiple. Look you know at this that? one. Right here. Mm -hmm. You see that? Do you read Arabic? Yeah. The letter. Mutawafika. Yeah, good. So what Do you does see that? that mean? Yeah. What does that so word what does mean? It mean? What does it what mean? Does it... Okay, I'm glad you're okay. asking. Let me educate you. Glad you're asking. You see that word here, mutawaffi? You see that? Yeah. What, is, what does it say here? What does it mean? The disease. Okay, what does that word mean? Disease means that it could also Good. have other meaning. I am not sure. What other does it mean? This, 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 if that is the only As meaning. Deceased, late, dead, deceased, deceased. Do you see any other meaning here? So yeah, actually, actually, if you if you know the Quran, which you should care about Allah, if you don't care about Ibn Abbas, the word that he used in his Quran is, let me put it back again. It actually means, so the translators, they lie to you, they say take you, actually it means taken death. Would you like to respond? Salman, would you like to use your right to speak? Just a minute. 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 Sounds like having a personal conversation. So, as uh, as daughter of Christ is pointing out, when you look up the word, the the word to wafa in the Quran, you'll see it used time and time and time again, where it means that Allah takes the soul at death, time and time and time again. It's it's been used twenty three times in the Quran. Twenty three times, and if you look up every single time it's used, there's a specific. Sorry. Every time when it is used, I cause you to die. So, so there was actually um, a debate yesterday that. Oh, okay, he's back. Comrade, Jai go. On. There was a debate, recent debate, not yesterday, recent debate between David Wood and a Muslim scholar, you know, so-called Muslim scholar, 
academic, and he actually took the position that the Quran does teach that Jesus died based on this very verse, 355, and the corresponding or parallel verses, chapter 5, verse 117, where you have Jesus using, uh, well, not the real Jesus, but in the Quran, putting words in the mouth of Jesus, saying, when you caused me to die, when you caused me to die. And this is admitted to, as we saw, by Ibn Abbas and by others in his commentary. And when you look at the Muslim commentators like al tabari when they interpret this verse, they have to spin it on its head in order to fit their current theology. Okay. Um, Mr. Muslim? Yeah. Actually, I was a little bit someone came, so I didn't listen to what you say, actually. Okay, uh, you didn't can you listen. Okay. I have some urgent issues. Somebody came in front of me. Okay, that's fine. Um, Brother Jai, can you be double kind and then just um, repeat um, as Muslim listener didn't yeah. listen? Well, actually, it was Daughter of Christ's point. I was just kind of just... Um, repeating it just just because he left so i was just kind of emphasizing the point that she was making so if she wants to um uh, come back in to to press the points to the muslim i was just simply saying that whenever you look up the word tawafa and in different ways that it's conjugated mutawafika and other ways that it's conjugated in the quran you'll see that it refers to allah taking the soul in death that's what it means in arabic tawafa means that somebody died and that's not going to any commentary. That's not going to Ibn Abbas, that's who, by the way, your prophet prayed over and called the one that interprets the Quran. That's going by the Quran itself. We're not talking about interpretation now. Okay. So you're saying Mutafika means that whenever the. Mutafika means, means that Allah is saying that He's the causer of His death, He's the one that causes Him to die. Okay. So, yeah. what is so? so it's very problematic for for your view because you don't believe that Jesus died. Okay. And notice the order. Notice the order. Uh, do you want to say something, sister? No, no, go on, brother. Okay. Notice the order. I will cause you to die, and then I'll raise you up to myself. Cause you to die, then raise you up to myself. Notice that order. Now, in order, no, you, you don't accept interpretations of the Quran, which is good. But when you look at the interpretations of the Quran, people who take your view, which I don't know where you're getting this mm -hmm. from if you don't accept interpretations, because the Quran is very clear that, he, that Allah caused him to die. Uh, it, they, they, they put it on, they twist it, and they say that actually, no, first Allah raises him to himself, and then in the second coming, he'll come and he'll die. So they twist the order. The one that's last, raising, actually comes first, and the first one, causing to die, comes later. So they actually admit that the meaning means causing to die, but they say that the order is actually reversed. And that's in some interpretations. Some interpretations, like you see that in al tabari for example. But you don't accept interpretations, uh, yeah. from what I gather. So, yeah, yeah go ahead, so sister. Go, go, to, so go to the Qur'an again, and he, he must take the Qur'an. Another surah. Here you're right in front of you, Surah 39, verse 42. You want to read that word for me? Verse 42. Yes, yes. Yep. Surah, Surah 39, verse 42. It's on the screen for you. Yeah, right in front of you on the screen. Did you see the screen? You see the screen? Mm -hmm. Okay, what, what is that? What does that say? Yatawaffa, right? Mm -hmm. Same word in the present tense. Yatawaffa. Mm -hmm. What does it mean here? Death. Yep, death. it's saying that Allah takes the souls in death. Allah yatawaffa al anfusa. Mm -hmm. Allah calls back the souls of people upon their death. Same word. Death. Um, so actually, yatawaffa means to cause someone to die. Okay, let's ask the question, since he's not agreeing with the um, Quran itself, what is his um, evidence, what, what is the meaning of the word and what is his evidence for that? Like okay. who is going against the word of Allah? Can you produce your evidence against the word of Allah? That what, what is, how do you interpret that word? word? Okay, one minute. Even if I assume it, that he died, what difference will it make? 
Well, hold on. You came oh. in here just saying that that's not the Islamic position. So, it, so the difference would I'm be just, that you... I'm just assuming. Okay. Not okay. Well, we don't. So if you, submit, you the evidence. if you submit that he died, that means all your imams and everyone else been lying to you. Hmm? If you if you submit and admit that he died, that means hmm. everybody has been lying to you, the imams and everyone who taught you Islam. Uh, what difference will it make? It, it make the, it, difference. the difference it makes is that you shouldn't listen to them about what happened to Jesus, and you should come to us. That's what the Quran hmm. tells you. If you're in doubt of anything, come to the, uh, the people of the book to ask okay. them. And what, what, if I come to you, what do you teach? Oh, we'll tell you, but we need you to first admit that. Because that's what I teach. came here to question your faith only. Well, yeah, but you see how the tables have turned now. And now you're questioning your own faith. You don't even know what the Quran teaches. So now what we want you to do is first, don't assume, but daughter of Christ, sister Tun, and myself, we're showing you evidences that the Quran actually does teach that Allah caused Jesus to die. So you don't need to assume anything. Just take what it says if you want to believe it at least believe it don't twist it so the quran does say that allah caused jesus to die and so we want you to admit to this because you first came in and said that that's not the islamic position so once you admit to that we'll take you step by step and we'll show you exactly what the significance of the death of jesus is and what we're remembering today why we why we why we go why we why today is called good friday or the friday of morning what's the significance of that We'll get into that, but we need to first go step by step. So will you admit that the Quran does teach that Allah caused Jesus to die? Uh, I does not admit. I am just saying you, hypothetically, I assume. For okay, Sister Tune asked you a question. So she you, said, if it doesn't mean, mean... Sister Tune asked you a question. She was, she was about to ask you, if it doesn't mean, if it doesn't mean I will cause you to die, then what does it mean and what is your evidence? See in the hadith and everything is clearly written that not, um, not hadith, he was Quran. Um, even Quran, it is not written that he died. The Mutafika, you are saying that means you are interpreting it in that way, but also it is not clearly written that he died and then he was raised. Well, if it's it, not it, clear, it, it is very not, clear actually. Uh, it's not if it's the Quran is not clear, why are you following it? Because the Quran itself says it's a clear book. Yeah, and, and, and can I can I just jump in? Can I just jump in? So, um, Mr. Muslim, would you be kind enough and then tell us what is the definition of that Arabic word? As I told you, Arabic is not my mother tongue. Neither do I know Arabic multiple meanings. What does it okay, mean? Okay, so so you don't know the meaning, but you are willing to argue with the Quran. That's absolutely fine. Um, can you please be kind enough? And then um, look at the verse on the screen. Okay. This is Surah 4, verse 157. Can you read it for us? And then we will ask you some basic questions. Since okay. we are just assuming that um, Jesus died, and at the beginning of the live stream, you expressed that um, Jesus, you believe Jesus didn't die with zero evidence or with zero backup, and now you are kind of being intentional to not make your case you want to kind of run away from Islam and then attack Christian faith I think we first stick with the um, surah 4 verse 157 to break it down since Quran expresses itself as daughter of Christ expressed well detailed well explained book I am sure we will figure out from this verse what happened to Jesus can you read the verse on the screen for us please and for this saying indeed we have killed the Messiah Isa, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him, but was made to resemble him to them. And in their those who differ over it are in doubt about it. They have no knowledge of it except the following of assumption. And they did not kill him for certain. Rather, Allah raised him to himself, and ever is Allah exalted in might and wise. So, Sister, to my, oh, okay, go ahead, sorry. Are you going to correct the Isa versus Jesus thing? No, no, no. Okay. Go, go ahead, then, brother. Okay. I, I just, I just want to comment something on. I just want to comment on something on, on this verse. 
we already had our Muslim guests here. And by the way, we thank you for having coming on. We thank you for coming on. We pray that the Lord will, will use this to open your eyes to his truth. So we love we love you. And, and we're not doing this because we don't love you. It's, it's because we love you. We want you to see the truth. So notice here, he admitted, he admitted that the Quran is not clear about this. But this verse is saying that those who differ are in doubt. They have no knowledge except of the following assumption. So actually, it's the Quran. It's the Muslims are the only ones who are in question. Some of them say he died. Some say he didn't die. So who's in doubt? Are, is any Christian in doubt? The question that Sister Atun asked the daughter of Christ, did Jesus really die? And she read the verses. He died. He died. There's no doubt. No Christian doubts. There's no doubt. So I just wanted to point out the irony of this verse is that the only people who are in doubt about this is the Quran by this Muslim guest admission and the Muslims themselves. So the Muslims are the ones that are in doubt, not the Christians. Uh, go ahead, sister. So um, you express that you are assuming that um, Surah 3 verse 55 uh, with the assumption, yes, Jesus died. And then I brought uh, your attention, Surah 4 verse 157, 58. Thank you for reading that. I'm going to ask some basic, basic questions with the because Quran says it is well detailed, well explained. But um, before I do that, I want you to remember something. If your assumption of the death of Jesus is correct, that means Islam is false. Okay? That means your imams, your father, your sheikhs, your, all of the people who were kind of training you, they lie to you and they are taking you to hell. So therefore, it is very important that you don't say, oh, I assume let's move on. It can't work like that. Quran, teachings of the Quran has the consequences for your eternity, as well as actual work and identity of Lord Jesus Christ has consequences for humanity. So, Surah 4, verse 157. Can you be kind enough? Can you be kind enough? And then tell me, who are those people are speaking? Who are saying they killed the Messiah? Those Jews which tried to kill, which who, don't who are kill those Jews? lot of prophets. Yeah. So sorry, who are those Jews? Those are the Jews to whom multiple tens of thousands of prophets were sent, and they killed one by one each one. So where does it say? Hmm? Where does it say that? It is a normal tradition that uh, since Jews... Sir, where they, does it say that? Got lost right, now, my, one right, now, right now, my tradition says you left your brain at home. Right now, my tradition says your sheikhs are taking you to hell. Right now, my tradition says Quran is false book. So let's move on from that tradition. Let's come to mm -hmm. the reality, okay? So okay. where does it say Jews are trying to kill Jesus? If you don't so, know, just simply say, I don't know, okay. don't say, and then we move on. Where does it say that? It's not a clear book, sister. There's no point asking him because the Quran doesn't know. Well, Quran says it's a clear book. Yeah, but it's not clear, is it? Otherwise, Quran would have told us, it would have told us why they wanted to crucify him and who. Okay, so first question is no answer. Second question. Um, so it says, okay, they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. But what another was made to resemble him to them. Okay, what does that mean? Oh, well, Mr. Muslim left. You know, I, I really, I pray for this guy. Um, I don't know what possibly led him to come on here when he... By his own admission, he doesn't really know too much about his own religion. It's very sad. I just, I just pray that the Lord was is is leading him, and uh, we pray for his salvation. We pray that he comes to the truth and leaves the slum and comes to the feet of the Lord Jesus in repentance and faith, in the death and resurrection three days later. Uh, so, so if everybody just please pray for Salman. Uh, if we if he doesn't come back, uh, please do keep him in prayers. Yes, and Salman, if he's still listening, there's no shame in not knowing. All of us had at one point didn't know. The shame yes. is in being stubborn, even though you don't know, and f sticking to what you what some people tell you out of pride, just because we gr you grew up in that or you have loyalty to it. If the Quran is not a clear book, you need to throw it in the bin. 
and come to the clear book, the Bible, it tells you exactly what happened, who killed him, why, and why why all of it happened, and it tells you in detail. So you don't have to, you know, be in an embarrassing situation like that ever again. If you ever try to defend the Quran, for anyone listening, you're going to end up being embarrassed because Quran is not is not clear. A five-year-old writing a book will be clearer than, than the Quran. Go on, um, Sister Amber. Amen. Helpful to remember Muhammad didn't know at all. Yeah. So you are in the same He's one with no Muhammad. knowledge. <laughs> if, you are if you have any doubt, don't go to Muhammad. You go to yeah. the people of the book. And according to the people of the book, as well as according to his story, Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross um, through crucifixion. He took his last breath. He died. Eternal Son of God died on that cross. Um, okay, let's take this down. Be before we um, go to our next guest, Sister, I just wanted to just emphasize uh, the points that you're making to Salman, if he's still listening, if he's listening to this. You know, um, it, like like Daughter of Christ said, there's no shame in admitting you don't know. And that, that's, you know, this conversation is happening with, with all Muslims all around, not just you. So we don't want you to feel like you're the only one in this position. No, all Muslims, this, this conversation can happen to any Muslim and they wouldn't know. And uh, that's, that's, that's our, our hope and our prayer that you, that you will continue listening to the stream and that you'll leave Islam and you'll come to the Lord Jesus. So I just wanted to reemphasize uh, the, those points. There's no shame in not knowing. The shame is, the shameful thing is what? The shameful thing is continuing to believe and to defend something that you know is not true. That's the shameful thing. So God yeah. says that he embraces the humble. He gives grace to the humble. God says this. I give, he says, I give grace to the humble. And, and he says that he, res he, he gives grace to the humble and he resists the proud. The proud. So please don't be the proud ones. It sounds like he's got a humble spirit. So we just pray the Lord will draw him to himself. Amen. Um, okay, I'm going to take in the next caller, brother if that's, and sister, if that's okay. Okay. Yes. Hello. Sword of the Spirit Outreach. Hello. Okay, I remove the person to back background. Um, whenever you are ready, just drop message in the chat so we take you in. I think when people come, they wait a little bit and then they just get on with their things. The moment you put them on the screen, they just we catch them at the wrong the wrong time. No, or uh, some, like some people kind of do things. Like once I was in a live stream with someone. I was in the backstage and then like I waited for a while <laughs> like I was waiting and then I left and then when I came back like there were messages were saying like oh, let us know when you are back <laughs> so mm -hmm. I'm that what I'm guessing it is one of those occasions um yeah um, okay, so oh, okay, he said that, that I'm, I don't know if it's a he or she, but they're saying um, that they're here, but maybe the microphone is not working. Maybe it's okay, their connection, okay. possibly. Okay, let's take it again. Hello, soul of the spirit outreach. Can you hear us? So what I would recommend, Sword, um, it, it it doesn't say your microphone is muted. So what I would do is I'd go to your settings and try to adjust your your audio settings. Uh, there's like a settings tab. And you just maybe adjust to a different microphone or something. I'm not not sure how else to assist with that. Okay, oh, sounds good. Hear me down. There you go. Yes, it worked. Hello. I'm also the part time IT guy, so yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yes, okay. welcome. We hear you. Yes, we can. We can hear Let me you, sir. Uh... Okay, we, we, sir, we can hear you. And since Jai is part-time IT guy, if anyone is hiring, <laughs> we need to make money from Can that. you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, sir. I don't think it's... Uh... Sir, we so, can hear you. Like, uh... He might be listening through YouTube or something. If you're listening to us through YouTube, please mute YouTube and uh, listen to us uh, through StreamYard. So if that's the case, there's like a minor delay, but yeah. So are we were able to hear you? Oh, okay, you can hear me now. Yes, we can hear you. 
Oh, okay. So, who are you? But I, I, I can't, I can't hear you. Um, I think he's listening through YouTube. I think that's the problem. Okay, and dear techie guy. Okay. All right. I uh, just want to say, God bless you, um, sister. God bless you guys for your work. I, I usually um, watch your channels and then um, your materials um, out there. I do um, watch them and I and do study most of your the materials you guys put out there. And I must say it's a great work. And I pray the Lord Jesus continue to bless you guys and give you more um, wisdom and knowledge to uh, to continue to do his work. So, but even though I can't hear you, I'm just going to say that uh, one thing with, with Muslims is that they do not care about truth. One thing that I've come to realize with Muslims is that um, most of them, they don't care about the truth as such. One thing we just do is when we witness to them, we continue to pray that the spirit touches their heart, as, uh, as Jai was saying. Because um, most of them, they think it's, uh, it's, it's a debate contest, who wins and who loses. But it, it actually has to do with one's internal salvation. So, but most of them, they, you know, they, 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 they see it as a contest, as, uh, as maybe who, who wins or who loses. Um, so that's that's the sad thing thank, about it. Thank you, thank thank you for um, bringing to our attention that um, actually some of the Muslims are not in the intention of uh, some of the um, some of the Muslims are not in the intention of um, looking for the truth. Um, but um, I think helpful to remember. Uh, we've got some individuals in the in this live stream. They were Muslim ones, so there are ones who are interested in truth because they know truth has consequences. Therefore, once they find the truth, they walk out of Islam. Um, they turn to truth. So um, yes, also I am very much aware there are there are some Muslims who are there in the intention of debate and discussion. That's okay, but there are some of them. Uh, stays there in the intention of having debates and discussions and making money from it. Uh, some of them are seriously there uh, trying to fix the problems of their heart and their soul. And the time of Ramadan is good time okay. of the year because we get to meet with Muslims who are in mosques, really praying that God reveals himself to them. And it was just a couple of days ago I met some uh, Muslims who are in the way of becoming ex-Muslims because apparently during the Ramadan Allah is not being helpful to them. They are start um, they start mm -hmm. questioning Allah. They start questioning Islam. They start questioning the character of Muhammad. So yes, there are some Muslims who are not uh, there mm -hmm. to there to be aware of the truth or kind of deal with the consequences of the truth. But there are some out there who is looking for truth. So, and Jesus Christ identifies himself as truth. In that sense, uh, we, pray, we pray for Muslims. We pray that uh, Lord Jesus Christ will draw them to himself. Any other last words from you, sir? Okay, I'm taking muted mic is as no. Um, therefore, thank you very much for calling in. I'm just going to take you down. And if you want to talk, just let us know. Um, Jai? Yes. Um, yeah, no, I, I just wanted to just, uh, uh, you know, it's, re it's really um, encouraging to hear our brothers and sisters. And I just wanted to get, thank you, you know, say God bless to him. Um, and yeah, so just, that's all. Just one, uh, just short uh, message back. So thank you. Um, okay, so let's bring our attention back to Good Friday. Um, on the topic of Good Friday, um, shall we bring our attention to 
shall I bring um, our attention to why did Jesus die? So eternal son of God died, but why? I am, I am very, I am very um, confident that he didn't die because I am pretty. I am very confident that he didn't die because I deserve. I am very com comfortable that he didn't die because he just thought, okay, let me do something useful. So what is the main reason that eternal son of God died on the cross for us? died on the cross yeah and what what better way to answer than just from the word of god in first corinthians chapter 15 it begins by saying moreover brethren i declare to you the gospel which i preach to you yes Jai. sorry about that um I'll have to be uh, leaving in about 15 minutes, so I apologize. I'll be leaving a little early. Um, let me just uh, begin again. Moreover, brethren, I declare to you the gospel, which I preach to you, which also you received, and in which you stand, by which also you are saved, if you hold fast that word, which I preach to you, unless you believed in vain. For I delivered to you, first of all, that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And I just want to emphasize, according to the scriptures, according to the scriptures, like you said, sister, it's not according to my feelings, according to this, according, no, according to the scriptures. What's the scriptures? The word of God, God-breathed words. And that he was seen by Cephas in the twelve. After that, he was seen by over 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain to the present, but some here have fallen asleep. Which means that they have been, uh, they have gone to be with the Lord. After that, he was seen by James, then by all the apostles. Then last of all, he was seen by me also, as by one born out of due time so he died for our sins and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures um and the this so what does it mean he died for our sins what what it means i'm going to go again to uh colossians and in, in, in colossians chapter 2 and colossians chapter 2 it tells us that uh, uh, okay, sorry about that. I just pulled another passage. It tells us that in him you were also circumcised with the circumcision made without hands by putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ, buried with him in baptism, in which you also were raised with him through faith in the working of God who raised him from the dead, and you. Being dead in your trespasses, our sins, our trespasses, and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he has made alive together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us. Very, very important, significant. Having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us. And he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it, to the cross having disarmed principalities and power he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them in it so, so yes sister go ahead so um the verses um you read i am hearing that it is yes i am correct it is not because of my beauty or because of my good character that jesus died but it is because scripture says he is going to die for my sins, therefore he died. His love for us, yeah, yeah. his love for his great and love for us. Also, I heard, correct me if I was wrong, with his death, I gained life. I was dead, Amen. but I become alive because of him. Amen. That's powerful scripture. And um, uh, it's not only like the words are written there, but it's reality in practice in the approximate um, 
2000 years ago. It's just like beauty of that reflects the a character of our God. Mm. Um, so brother, uh, Mr. Muslim who was out of the stream is back. I'm just gonna take him in. And um, anyone in the chat who wants to call in, you are very welcome to call in. So um, people are just saying invite individuals. You are very welcome to call in. So I'm not putting gun anyone's head to call in or not call in. So we've got open platform here for you to call and then we can talk about Good Friday. Uh, Mr. Muslim, welcome back. Your, your mic, microphone volume is very low, Salman. Mm -hmm. Hello? My voice is low? Yeah, so can you speak a little bit louder for me? One of my ears doesn't work. Yeah, is it okay now? Yeah, it's better. Okay. So, uh, last time when you kind of left the live stream, we were talking about Surah 4, verse 157. We had questions. Are you able to answer those questions? What question you had? Hmm. That's a good start. You don't even remember the question. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. Um, yeah, sorry about that. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, I'm muted. I was just, I, I just unmuted to, to just, I wanted to welcome him back as well. Um, but yeah, go ahead, sister. What are the questions that we had? Yes, uh, beloved, daughter of Christ has the amazing memory. Do you remember? Yeah, she has the memory for oh, yeah. I remember, but according to Islam, I need another woman, woman to remind me to be a witness. But anyway, we are together. We team okay. together. <laughs> um, so we were asking you, Salman, who killed Jesus and why? Can you tell us the answer from the Quran? Me? Yes. Yeah. As I repeated, according to me, no one killed Isa. According to you, no one killed Isa, but you said no Jesus one was trying to kill him. I was just, just me. Yeah, they were trying to kill him. Okay. As Which Jews and why? Okay, who, who tried to kill him? As per our knowledge, they were Jews, but you don't believe in okay. that. Okay, can you show us in the Quran where it says Jews tried to kill him? It's not exactly in the Quran, but you know. So how can you say? So how can you say something from your brain like that? It should be from the Quran, right? I do not say from my brain. I thought you don't accept interpretation. So now you're making. Isa was sent as a messenger to Jews. So. Okay, where does it say that? It says in the Bible as well. No, no, you uh -huh. can't. You can't. No, no, you can't. You can't How? appeal to the Bible, the Bible that we just read earlier, that says that if he you died go to the Bible, the Bible says that uh, Jesus died, so you can't go to the Bible. According to the scripture, he died. Yeah, exactly, sister. And, yeah, and he rose so, from the dead. And according and to the Bible, 19, you must repent and believe in him. And Surah 19 talks about Jesus came for humanity, not for Jews. So now pull yourself together. Uh, have you pulled yourself together now? Answer the question. Uh, do you do you agree that Allah doesn't say Jews are trying to kill him, but you can read the mind of Allah and then say actually that's what Allah meant to say, but Allah forgot to say that. In the Quran, the details are not written. Okay. In the Quran, the, the details, details are, are not written. written. Okay. Oof. So it's the same same Quran. Same Quran says. I'll bring your attention to Surah 12. What is it? Verse 111? Is that, is that the verse? Yeah. The, the okay. Is, so, like, yeah. So it says it's fully detailed and, and uh, Mr. Muslim is saying that it's not detailed. Wow. Yes. Surah 20, verse 111 says in the Quran there are oh, details. Oh, okay. Surah 20? 20 verse 111. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 20 verse 111. And Surah 12 as well. It is clear book. It says it's clear. Uh, sorry, Surah 12, sorry. Surah 12, verse 111. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, Surah 12, verse 111. Yeah. Let me read yeah. the verse. Let Go me ahead. read the verse. So, Surah 12, verse 1. These are the verses of the clear book. So, Quran is supposed to be clear book. Verse 111. Never was a narration invented, but the confirmation of what was before it and detailed explanation of all 
things. Detailed explanation of all things and guidance and mercy for people who believe. And but but sister, I thought he just said that it's lacking detail. Yeah, yeah. so the, de the, very, the details of everything, but we don't know who wanted to kill Jesus and why. Salman, do you see the problem here? The you're what? saying that it's lacking. You're, you're correct in saying that it's lacking details. You're correct. In you're correct in saying that it lacks detail, but the Quran claims that it's fully. I'm sorry. Uh, there's a little bit of lag. Go ahead. Just, just, I just want to say this point. Okay. Uh, there's a little bit of lag. Sorry about that. The Quran is claiming that it, it is fully detailed, but you're rightly acknowledging that it's lacking detail. So how do you make sense of that? Does Quran contain the entire life of Prophet Muhammad? Well, or the entire life of Moses? Or the no, but it's very, very important the why they killed him, why they wanted to kill him, and why, and why, and who they, who he he went to. All the prophets who meet the same fate. They, at every time, every people of every nation try to kill the prophets. But so why? Moses. Why? So because they hold them towards Allah, to worship Him alone. Where does it say that? In the when the Quran, where does it say that? Why were the prophet, no, no, why were the prophets sent? So yeah, where where you said that all the prophets people try to kill yeah. them. Where does it say that? So just can I ask a question? It doesn't say so, that. You're just making it up. No, I'm so not if making, people, if then people show us the verse then. I'm not making it up. It's then show truth. us when you when we say something, we give you verse to show that we're saying the yeah. truth. Okay. Where wasn't are the verses Ibrahim, that you're saying? Wasn't Ibrahim tried to kill? Was being tried to kill? about Ibrahim. You said fire. all. Pro no, wait, hold on. Uh, Salman. Every prophet. Salman. He, no, no. Salman, hold on. Says Isa, Muhammad. No, no, no. That's not true. Not all the prophets. It's you true. said all prophets Most were, were meant to be killed or people tried to kill them. Where does it say in the Quran all prophets, people tried to kill them? People try to kill every each and every prophet. Where does it say that? Which verse? Prophets. Yeah, you're just repeating yourself. Uh, you're just repeating uh, Salman. yourself. Salman, Salman, repeating yourself. Salman, the repeating prophet. yourself is not giving the answer to the I'm question. Not, I'm not repeating. But the, what you was are. The you're saying. Okay, what was the job of prophets? Can you? No, no, no. Me? You're asking us. You're asking us. We're, at, we're The question is for I'm you. Asking you the jo job of the prophets. Yes, it you're was asking us. the wishes of the people. Salman, Salman. You're asking us, the question is for you. Where does the Quran say what you're saying? So, according to you, the Prophet never been uh, tried to uh, uh, not, No, according to the Quran, not according to us. No, we don't Quran. believe in the Quran. This is your book. We don't believe in it. Uh, in fact, our sisters here used to believe in it, and now they don't because they saw that they can't defend it, just like you can't, you can't defend it, and they came to the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Who, who he drew tried them, to, he, uh, he, he drew himself he drew them to himself okay. who so tried to kill who tried who tried to kill um worship and i'm asking simple question the man who tried to accept um sorry who tried to kill Eunice then Eunice, uh, the people they were not listening no you said everybody tried to kill all the prophets who who tried to kill Eunice? nobody right. When Yunus went in the ship, wasn't he thrown? No, no one, to no one tried to kill him. No one tried to kill him. He was thrown into the sea? No, no one tried to kill Yunus. Uh, so man, no one tried to kill Yunus. So not all the prophets people tried to kill him, according to the Quran. So what you're saying wasn't is Yunus, okay. you're just making wasn't it up. Yunus, Yunus, you did, wasn't you're Yunus asking you did. me. You're asking me. Yeah, he's, ask, he's asking you you're as asking if you me. believe it. Ask, so what we want you to do is show us from your book where so basically what we're doing is this Salman. what we're saying is you have to make up the details because you acknowledge that the quran is not fully detailed this is a big problem because the quran claims to be fully detailed uh sister tune and, and and sister daughter of christ read you the verses quoted you the verses and cited the verses where it says that it's fully detailed you you are making up the details because you know that you need to fill in the blanks in order to make sense out of many passages and many things in the Quran. You don't need to do that. You what you what you need to do is to repent, leave Islam, and come to the Lord Jesus because He's the one who died for you. Muhammad didn't die for you. He says He says no one's Lord. And He rose from the dead, defeating says, death, triumphing over death. That, so come says, to Him, Salman. Stop messing around. Come to Him. He says no one's Lord. He was a small baby. 
No, Yunus, not Musa. You don't, you don't know your prophets? Isa is a small baby. He's not anyone's lord. Neither mine nor your. Who, who? You said Isa is a small baby. He's not anyone's lord. Is that what you said? Yes, I said that. Oh, 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 well, if, okay. he, if he's only a baby, then why did the Jews start to kill him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if he's only a baby. <laughs> I mean, even according to your Quran, he he did more. He did look at all the miracles and things he did according to your Quran. You're saying he's just he's he's no one's lord. No, no. Actually, the Quran actually does. Uh, so well, did anyway, he perform we'll miracles in. all by himself? Huh? Did he perform all the miracles by Isa by himself? Yeah, or? yeah. Needing Allah's permission. Permission is not by the same Allah. Thing. No, no. Permission doesn't mean okay. We're we're going way off uh, point here. But permission, just so I want to respond to this. Uh, sorry, sisters. Uh, but permission does not mean ability if i give you the permission right now you have permission you have permission to mute me you have permission to kick me off the stream you have permission you have permission to go ahead you have permission go ahead you're not doing it because you don't have the ability to so sister hartoon sister god of christ they have the ability to kick me off the stream they have the ability to remove me i give you permission permission doesn't mean you have the power or the ability to do it so just because the quran says that he did these things by the permission doesn't mean that he didn't have the ability but we don't even believe in the quran what we're saying to you is that the quran has so many holes there are so many holes in the islamic narrative um i have to get going thank you so much for having me on sisters god bless you both and god bless all the brothers and sisters um i pray uh, for salman and for all the muslims who are watching this that they would come to the lord um and all the unbelievers we pray that they come to the lord um thank you so much sisters god bless you both and uh thanks for coming on uh, salman so god bless you uh daughter of christ and uh sister Etienne. god bless you Thank you very much for joining us, um, Jai Apologetics. Um, okay, so we kick out Jai from the stream. <coughs> so, Mr. Muslim, uh, let me bring your attention to the verse on the screen. Since you mm -hmm. failed to answer the first and second question. Third question. In the part of the verse, it says, but was made to resemble him to them. What does that mean? appear to them somebody else was made to appear like isa or someone else made appear to like isa what does that mean somebody else face was turned like isa so the people okay, where, where does it say that resemble what do you think was made to resemble him to them okay so let's say it was me who's supposed to be on the cross but you took my face but you were the one on the cross correct is correct. that what you are saying yes okay so who made my face to change allah or who else oh allah made okay so allah made someone to die instead of jesus correct yeah what is the name of that person He was the leader of the tribe that came to kill Isa. What is the name of that person? I do not know. You don't know? Okay. So why did Allah deceive people pretending it was Jesus but it wasn't Jesus? Because he was the leader and he was uh, urging people to kill Isa. Why, so why did Allah why did Allah deceived people to believe it was Jesus, but actually it wasn't Jesus? Why did Allah deceive? To save him and to punish the leader of the gang. Oh, so Allah deceived people to save Jesus. Correct? Is that what you are saying? Yeah, and punish that the one who tried to kill him. Okay, so Allah wanted, according to you, Allah wanted to punish people who wanted to kill Jesus, which you don't know who they are. Um, therefore, Allah deceived everyone. Correct? Mm, correct. Okay. Can you bring me something that shows you Allah is not deceiving you today? So you identified Allah as a deceiver. I am going to ask you, why do you worship someone who is identified as a deceiver? But before that, I am asking you, show me something 
that confirms Allah is not deceiving you. So what do you wanted? Allah should have allowed Isa to die. Allah allowed, said Allah is going to kill Isa. That's not the point. Also, deception is okay. You think, uh, uh, so, uh, are you aware so, that you are calling uh, how, character of Allah out here? So how would have Allah saved him? He could have just, he could have just, he could have just lifted, you asked how can Allah do it? He could have just lifted him up in front of everyone. Is he not powerful enough to do that or does he have to deceive? He lifted, no, but. The, yeah, but he, he could have the, done it. He could have done it without deceiving. He had done it. He had done it. He yeah, but he, he could have done it. Salman, listen, please. He could have done it without deceiving. He could have just lifted him up without deceiving anyone. So why did Allah deceive? Allah lifted Isa. Yeah, That's I know he lifted him. Why the... did he have to deceive? He could have lifted him without deceiving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what would have happened to the leader? Wouldn't he should be punished? The one who was urging people to kill Isa. Yeah, he's going to punish him in hell. He'll punish him in hell. No problem. Why, so did, he have to him? Why did he need to deceive everyone? That's the question. Why did Allah need to deceive? Mr. Muslim, mm -hmm. can you can you explain it to me? What kind of punishment is this so that someone else is pretended to be Jesus and then died on the cross? How the leader of the Jews are being deceived, um, punished with this? The one that he was urging people to kill him he himself got killed. Wasn't that a good punishment? Okay. Um, what? Where, where did you get that? Who is the name of that person? Name I don't know. Oh, you don't know. Him. Okay. Where does it say? Where does it say it was the leader of the tribe and all that? Where does it say he was bad even? Maybe he was good. Quran huh? doesn't tell you. Quran doesn't tell you who that man is or if he was bad or good. Killing he prophets is a good thing. No, no. The man who was. Please try to follow because I think you're a bit slow. The person instead of Jesus on the cross, mm -hmm. where does the Quran say that he was bad or that he was a bad person? So I, I will assume this you are saying all those who tried to kill the prophets are very I'm good. asking you about Jesus. Focus. Okay. The one who was on the cross. About, the one who was who was trying to kill Isa was a good person you are saying? No, no, this? no. I'm asking you, the one on the cross, according to this verse. I'm asking you a that... question. How can he be good if he's trying to kill someone? No, I'm okay. asking you. I'm asking you about the one. Person. Yes, okay. I'm saying. And then, listen, it's a different question. The I'm one saying that... a person. No, no. The one on the cross instead of Jesus. Yeah. You said yeah, you I, said he was. Wait, he hold was on, dirty, hold on, Salman. Was a bad and dirty person. I am saying my myself, and I can okay, say that. Okay, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you, me. Salman. Listen, listen. The person who tried to kill Jesus is bad. It's fine. I'm asking you, the one that had the face of Jesus on the cross. Hmm. According to this verse, where does it say that he was leader of the bad people? He was the bad person. Where does it say that? So if first will not say something... Where does it say that it was bad? He was bad. Allah just said another person. He didn't say if he was bad or good. Okay, so you assume him to be good. Let's assume I'm asking you, I don't know. This is your religion. Who was on that cross? You said he was a bad person. He was when, I'm saying, all that. when I'm saying something, you are not, not agreeing I'm asking to. you. The verse I'm is in front of you. you. Okay, let's assume he was a good person. The one who was We can't to. assume. This is about the truth. We can't assume. This is religion. It has so to be I'm perfect. So I'm he was a bad person. He was a leader. Of the Where gang. does it say leader? Where does it say that? It doesn't say. Uh, okay, if it doesn't say it, where are you getting it from? I'm getting it from Hadith. Where, where is this Hadith? Show me this Hadith. Yeah. Show me this hadith right now, where it said it was a leader of a bad people. I do not have that reference. Well, if but you don't have it, then you're just making it up. I'm not you're just making it up. Go, go on. Islam belief. Yeah, but where does it say that? 
they just they tell you they just tell you in the mock they just make things up they just make it up it doesn't say that go on they are master of their uh, studies king Islam, 10 or Mr. 20 years before saying to us so uh he is a normal Salma. person who studied 10 or 20 years all those hadiths and tafsirs. Salma? Yeah. Have you ever lied? Me? Yeah. Have you ever lied? Yeah. You lied? Yes. Have you ever passed by a homeless person and then not give them money? Could we? Could be okay. Have you ever forgot, or have you have you ever been in a place that you missed your prayer? Yeah. Yes. So you are a bad person. Yes. Um, according to you, it is okay to deceive the bad persons. Can you show me something from Islamic tradition that helps you to be confident that Allah is not deceiving you today by? causing you to lie and then create hadiths and causing you to follow Islam. How do you know Allah is not deceiving you? Because you claiming that bad persons deserve to be deceived. You are a bad person. How do you know Allah is not deceiving you? One, one minute. What you say? That bad person... Um, one you are a bad person. Yeah. Your heart and your soul can be healed only by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Since you are rejecting that and you think it is okay to deceive the bad persons because Allah does that to the people who try to kill Jesus, which you provide zero reference at all. I am asking you, how do you know Allah, the creator of universe, according to you, who is the best of the deceivers, is not deceiving you right now? Yeah, he's not deceiving me. How do you know? You are a bad person. Yeah. So does he Allah de deceived he Muhammad? Are you better than Muhammad? How he do you know Allah is not deceiving you? He doesn't leave the bad persons. He loves all bad, bad or good. But why is Allah in here deceiving bad person? See, because this was a different. No, no. This was a different case, and each case oh. are different. Okay. Show me. Show me something. Do you do you think Muhammad is a good person? Yes. You think Muhammad is a good person? So good yes. persons wouldn't get deceived, correct? No, not necessarily. They can also be deceived. A good but good person deceive, can be deceived. Did deceiving, Allah deceive Muhammad? Deceiving, deceiving degrees are different. Did Allah yes. deceive Muhammad? Yes. Allah oh, wait, deceived Allah Muhammad. Deceived Muhammad. Yes. Okay. So thank you for confirming that Allah deceived Muhammad as well as according to you Allah in surah 4 verse 157 is deceiving the leader of the Jewish who tried to kill Jesus but you are so confident Allah is not deceiving you are you better than Muhammad can Muhammad hide your shoe hmm? are you better than Muhammad Allah knows no, he's oh. now he's doing taqiyya now. He knows full well that Muslims believe Muhammad is the best. Now he's saying Allah knows because he doesn't want to walk into the trap because his belief is so weak. Are you better than the, messen the yeah. mercy to mankind? Neither is, neither is my neither is my belief to be neither I am doing taqiyya. So why yes. are you here? Why are you not answering our question? You know, um, Salman. You know, uh, I think man changes his underwear almost every day okay it seems that you are changing your understanding of islam as often as you change your underwear and i think i think that is pretty shameful you need to think about it would you think mary mother of jesus okay was she bad person good person she was good person she was good person okay so when jesus died okay sorry not when jesus died when someone else through the deception of allah died in the case of jesus can you tell me what did allah do to mary maria was dead long ago oh mary was dead by then when did mary die 
She was dead long ago in the life. When? The time of Nisa itself. When? Where did you get that from? While well, he was alive only, he was dead. Maria. When did Mary die? While well, Isa was alive. When? Which year? When did Isa actually, according to... Oh, so when Isa was alive, so there was a time and place Isa died. Hmm? You said you when said Isa was said, alive. You just said that he died. Mariam died while Isa was alive. Okay, so he's dead now or what? While alive means before he being raised to sky. Oh, so when he was raised before to sky, he was dead? dead? Before that even happened, before that itself, Mariam was dead. Wait, so Jesus died when he went up? No. So why did you say when he's alive? He's taken up alive. Okay, so why did you say she was dead before he was alive, uh, be, uh, be, um, during his it lifetime? Was, it's a slip of tongue. Before that event, where people think... Okay, so she died. died before he was raised, is that right? For that, for that event, yes. Okay, so where did you get that from? I got that from... I read it in some prophet stories. Where is that? With, with Where is that? Eyes, you read it with your eyes closed and with your brain shut, or they were both of them were open? Mm, they both were shut. Okay. Like, uh, both shot. Both shot. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I when you read the Bible, your eyes and your brain were shut yeah, when yeah. you were reading it. So now let's focus. Now let's focus. Um, I must, I must uh, give you a compliment. I think at this stage you deserve. You've got very good skills of deceiving. I think it's like you take it from Allah. It's good. Allah is sharing and caring. So let's focus now. Did Jesus, when someone, else, when Allah was using deception? okay um and take killing someone else instead of jesus okay uh did jesus had any friends yes yeah, as far as my knowledge he had he had some friends okay did allah tell friends of jesus no worries i didn't kill jesus but i killed a, a chief of jews Allah didn't communicate it with his Isa's friend. Allah communicated with Isa's friends. Allah did not. Allah did not. So uh, Allah just deceived everyone and then let that go. When did Allah decide to tell that to people that Allah deceived people, Jesus didn't die? Maybe it could be two things. That the Isa maybe have, you don't know if you don't know you told, say you don't know you shouldn't say maybe Isa, you shouldn't. Isa may have told his friends in his lifetime before that event happened when he was raised up or the second is possibility is only after Muhammad came why are you going why are you saying possibility didn't Allah tell you are you making it up again or did you get it from that story I didn't, I didn't make it up so how can you say either Since that Isa, or that only Isa. one only one thing happened since Isa oh, it can't be, it can't prophets, be both. Allah might have informed him to inform his friends. So you don't know what happened? But Allah didn't talk directly with Isa's friend. Okay, so you don't know what happened. You think it's possibilities. Yeah, it could be possible. Okay, so how can you know? Since what prophets, possibilities are? Since oh, prophets uh, are shown the future and they are supposed Yeah, but how do you know? How do you know whether, which possibility happened? We don't know. Why didn't Allah tell you in the Quran? Instead of making you guess, why didn't Allah tell you the truth? See. Because you are guessing about which possibility happened right now. Is that a good position to be in? Allah put you in a very bad position. First he deceived and now he gave you possibilities of what actually happened. Is that a God? Me, Isa, Isa yes. have told to his friends, but that thing got lost. It did not come up in the Bible. Okay, where does it say that it got lost? Which no, possibility is that? A third, is that a third possibility now, uh, or what, how many possibilities is it now? 
God is the God of possibilities. <laughs> Allah is the man of possibilities. What you happened, know? man? Options it can't be after options, opportunities after opportunities. Uh, Mr. Muslim, since you are kind of jungling around, I'll ask you, I'll ask a serious question. Do you have any problem that Allah is deceiving anyone? No. You have no problem Allah deceiving anyone? No. No? Thought of Christ? So you follow yeah. a deceiver? Hmm? You follow a deceiver? What is deceiving? Muhammad came to teach us now. So how do you know that God the deceiver didn't send a deceiver prophet called Muhammad? How it could be deceiver? Because you just said you have no problem with Allah deceiving. So how So how how do you know that he didn't send dece another deceiver called Muhammad? Mm. Long pause was not deceiver Muhammad told the truth which was evil to him how do you know yeah I know you said there's no, no. problem with Allah deceiving people so how do you know Muhammad see, wasn't also a deceiver see Allah does not deceive to such a degree oh so how how okay, much so there are degrees it is quite okay for Allah to deceive all humanity okay because death of Jesus Focus now, Mr. Muslim, focus now. Death of Jesus and his resurrection give birth to Christians. So it is absolutely okay, Allah, to deceive all humanity. It is absolutely okay for you to worship a deceiver. It is absolutely okay, Allah, to deceive Muhammad, yet you express Allah doesn't deceive you. Um, can you just pull yourself together? I know you read with closed eyes and then closed brain, but I wanted to open that for a second. And then read the Sahih Bukhari Hadith, which is on the screen. Read it, then give me two minutes to respond. Can you open your brain and your eyes and then read the Hadith for us? Are you able to read? As if I am looking in the at the prophet and while he was speaking about one of the prophets whose people have beaten and wounded him and he was wiping the blood of his face and saying oh lord forgive my people as they do not know so since you know like quite a lot about allah and the god of possibilities can you be kind enough and then tell me who is this prophet who is the who is wiping the blood of his face and saying, "Oh Lord, forgive my people as they do not know." Long pause. Name of the prophet is not mentioned here. Okay, what are the options? <laughs> do you think is this Muhammad? Yeah, Muhammad was also beaten too much time and his blood was... Okay, flowing. so you think this is Muhammad? This, I am not referring to this. Okay, so just tell me, <laughs> tell me who, who might be this. You don't have that much option, so pick one. I can cannot guess. You cannot guess? Okay. You guessed before. You guessed before when guess you gave it, us guess you can prove wrong also. Yeah, it's but you guessed before, though, when you're giving us possibilities of what could happen to Jesus, though. Yeah, so maybe it's, remember, like, okay. you were talking okay. about the options, okay. and maybe okay. it's your okay. guessing games. Okay, um, Ozzy, for your sake, assume it, it is Isa. For my sake? No, I was the truth. You think you are assuming it is Isa? Why so would what, you assume such a thing? What why would you, like, there are lots of prophets, why did you assume it was Isa? For you, to make you happy make me happy no that doesn't make me happy what, I, what makes me happy is you saying jesus died and was raised for your um and died for your sin that was is what makes me happy is to put the quran in the bin and islam beloved, in the bin beloved have you noticed <laughs> that's what makes me to, happy. Make, to make to make the worst of creatures happy he is willing to lie so you that's just make things up muslims 
So instead of telling us the truth, you want to just tell us what makes us happy. Is that a good yeah. thing? Deception. See, there are certain things Muslims pick up from Allah. That's one of them. Okay, so um, I don't want to be happy. Okay, because I'm already given eternal life through Lord Jesus Christ. I don't need you to make me happy. So have you got anyone else beside Jesus you can assume this hadith might be talking about? It can be. There were 200,000 prophets. Okay, give me give me one name. It wasn't 200,000, but I'll let that go. Give me give me give me one of the, another name. I do not know all the name of 200,000 prophets. Okay. By the name okay. of Anul, if I mentioned. Okay. So, can you read the um tafsir on the screen? Victory so, and... the prophets of Rizal were twelve prophets who were sent to children of Israel in Al Sham, who then disobeyed them. So Allah revealed to the prophets that I shall be sending my torture to the disobedient of the children of Israel. So this burdened the messenger, so Allah revealed to them to choose for yourself. If you wish, I would send you the torture and rescue the children of Israel. And if you, if you wish, I would rescue and send the torture to the children of Israel. So they deliberated among themselves and decided for him to send them the torture and rescue the children of Israel. So Allah rescued the children of Israel and sent those others the torture by having the kings of the earth lords over them. So from among them were those sown by saws and from them whose head and face was skinned and from them who was crucified on wood until he died and from them burned by fire and Allah knows best. Thank you very much for reading that, sir. I really appreciate. Can you be kind enough and then give a guess out of 200,000 of your prophets? Who might be this crucified prophet? Guess will only go to Isa. Wow. Your guess will go to Isa? Why? Wow. Why? First, his picture is only made on the cross and most of the people think although others prophets can also be but so you've got you've got you 200 thousand prophets Salman? Salman you express there are 200 thousand prophets okay you said that and on, with, within these 200 thousand prophets you played your guessing game and you put put your guessing on Isa. Mm -hmm. And on the previous hadith, you put your guessing on Isa. Out of 200,000 prophets. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, why is that? Because as far as I know, the lot of prophets when they were tortured, they used to curse the people. Means ask Allah for revenge. But uh, as far as Muhammad was concerned, he didn't did that. And as far as I guess, Isa also did not did that. Sorry, repeat that. As far as I know, when the prophets were tortured by the people they ask Allah for saving and sometimes punishment also for the people but for Muhammad he did not do that and as I guess Isa also did not do that but if Isa didn't do that then why did you guess here it was Isa like hmm? What, what, what are you planning to achieve with your deceptions? What deceptions? The deceptions you are using, what are you trying to I'm, achieve? I'm not using any deceptions. 
Yes, yes, you did. Description? Yeah, you yeah. did because you couldn't say that you're better, that Muhammad is better than you, yeah. even though you know Islam yeah. tells you Muhammad is better. Till now, throughout the time, you are only questioning me. I have not come to question. When let's see if you give me chance to question you also or not later on. You can you can call in into the question live stream speaker. Yeah, we are talking first, about first. we are talking about Good Friday, and so far what we have is here is you expressed that this Qurtubi is talking about Isa. You expressed the hadith where a prophet is wiping the blood on his face who has been beaten and wounded, asking Allah to forgive people for they do not know it is talking about Isa. And um, we ask you very basic questions on Surah 4 verse 157. You gave us zero answer. Uh, all you did was confirm for us that you actually expressed you have no problem with it either. Allah is a deceiver which you willing to worship. Um, that overall crushes my heart. It crushes my heart because I did ask you, do you believe you are a good person? And you expressed actually, no, you are not. You are pretty, pretty bad person. And you are in the same club with me. I am pretty bad person too. Only difference between us is I am forgiving bad person, yet you are not forgiving bad person. I am forgiven through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. The one you are denying died on the you are denying his death on the cross. I am forgiven by the bloody blood of him. Okay? now let me ask you a question you uh, have... no you can't ask question right now because you express that you kind of quite enjoy to give us what we want to hear uh, so that we are happy that you can ask your questions you didn't come into the, this live stream to talk about who died on the cross what happened to the person on the cross or what happened to lord jesus christ you didn't bother about truth you don't care about truth but it has consequences if son of god lord jesus christ didn't die on the cross i'm gonna go to hell and you didn't even bother to take that as serious hell and heaven is serious death bloody death of lord jesus christ is very much serious to me so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna kick you out from this live stream and then i will give you a chance to call in when we have open qa you can bring up your questions, but someone who doesn't even bother to give any attention what truth is and willing to actually express that I am willing to worship at the best of the deceivers. Um, I don't think it is right for you to be in this live stream right now because truth has consequences. And my God is identified as true as truth as well. Um, you choose to des follow a deceiver. And I don't think on Good Friday, it will be right for you to practice more deception. So I'll kick you out. I'll let you go in this live stream. But call in, in um, keep eye on the um, coming live streams. We will have open call in nights. You can call in and then bring up your questions. Before I let you go, I want you to remember something, okay? I want you to remember your claims on what happened to Jesus not only goes against Bible, but goes against history. Historically, men called Jesus died on the cross by crucifixion. There is nothing can discredit that. Okay? There is nothing out there can discredit that. And with your assumption, you said, oh, yeah, if I assume it is true, that means Islam is false, Quran is false, Muhammad is false, and you are following a false religion, false beings who are taking you to hell. Eternal Son of God, Lord Jesus Christ, died on the cross for your sins and for my sins. It wasn't the chief Jew who put him on the cross. It was my sins and his heart put him on the cross. He saw, he saw, I am dead in my sins. A God who created the universe reached out to me, came to the, 
came to this broken world and give up himself on the cross for me. That God deserves my worship. So I'll let you go with that thought, sir. And then once we have Colin Knight, please feel free to call him. Just like your exemption. Thank you. Sorry? You are assuming too much without any evidence, without any truth. I will come next time in your stream to... You're the one who didn't show us any evidence at all. Break your cross. Sir, I will man. come next time. I will you next time come. You're the, one who just, break your cross. you're the one who didn't show us any evidence and just gave us possibilities of what could have this happened. Are the, this are the it's biggest embarrassing. Lies which you're you believe. so embarrassing. This so you embarrass yourself. You believe. You embarrass I will yourself come tonight. next time have a big debate if you there. Okay. I don't bring, know. Bring, bring the... Till now, no Christian has dared to debate me. Okay, yeah. okay. Bring the storybook when he the prophet storybook. Bring that when he come back next time. <laughs> I'm questioning <laughs> your faith. You, read, you don't allow questioning your faith, sir. Uh, we will let you to call in in the next um, open open QA, and then we discuss your questions. Okay. So far, I am afraid to tell you again that you failed, and you are quite enjoy um, being follower of the deceiver. So I'll let you go now. Uh, meantime, um, when you bring your questions, make sure you read with open eyes and open minds. God bless you, sir. Um, so that was Salman, who was simply expressing that Jesus didn't die on the cross. With zero evidence, with zero thoughts, with zero thinking skills. Um, which is such a shame, actually. Such a shame. It's so embarrassing, sister. It's so Why would you say that, sister? Why would you say... Like... I can understand if someone simply says, I have a problem, Allah is the deceiver, but this is my faith I have to follow. Yeah. I have no problem with that. But someone simply says, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'll tell you whatever you want. I'll tell you whatever you want. And then he ends it with saying, no Christian can debate me. It's just delusion, sister. The delusion is strong. Sad. And it's pathetic. Even the, even the verses that were, the Quran verses that we used were from us. He didn't even bring them. And they think they can talk about faith and God. They don't know anything. We just pray for them. It's just... Yeah, it's pathetic. That's, that's the word I use. This this shouldn't shock us. Main reason is because Muslims are not kind of encouraged to study Quran. Uh, like I was in a mosque uh, for iftar. It is amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. Like huge mosque. No one knows what they are reciting. It's amazing, like huge mosque. People didn't even think what it what it says. They are just like reciting, reciting, reciting. There is no any encouragement at all for thinking critically what it says uh, on that. Therefore, I'm not surprised that Muslims don't know how to study their own religion and have to question their own religion. In therefore. They cannot kind of get their head around that the God who created the universe, the God who created out of his generosity, many birds, many trees, all everything we see around us, that God is willing to come and pursue us, willing to come and meet us where we are. Their mind just doesn't get it. Why? Because they have not uh, think to read about it. But from very, very early age, they are trained to attack core Christian doctrines. From very early age. They cannot answer basic questions on Islam, but they are very much well trained to answer, uh, attack Christian faith. That's the religion of Islam. You can summarize it with one, one line, like polemical religion, no apologetics at all. Um, Beloved, uh, we've been live almost almost one hour, 50 minutes. Um, 
would you be kind enough and then just like summarize your thoughts on Good Friday and Holy Saturday as well as um, Resurrection Sunday and then we finish the stream from that? Yeah, um, bottom line is the Lord Jesus Christ died on Good Friday. He died um, 2,000 years ago. It was a, his a historical event witnessed by many. And um, it's it cannot be denied at all. And uh, on the third day he raised, he was risen from the dead and is still alive uh, now, until now and forevermore he will be alive. The reason he died is to save us from our sins because our sins were are the reason we, we are going to go, go to hell without him. But he did something to save us and that was according to scriptures and um, scripture and prophecies from hundreds of years before he came to do so. And this this day every year we celebrate the fact even though he died and it was a horrific way in which he died, it's a good Friday because it was for our good. And the Lord Jesus Christ came to do so because if it was it was the will of God the Father to do for him to do so. There was no any other way for him for us to be saved except by that way. And uh, I'm very grateful that the Lord saved me. I know that he had me in mind specifically. And um, that humbles me and breaks me. The fact that it was because of me that he went through all that. And that's how each single one of us feels the ones that have been saved by the Lord. Um, we happen to know that Muslims don't believe it to their own destruction and to their own um, bad, bad end, you know, um, unless they open their hearts to um, accept the fact that what Jesus did for them, because he did it for them too. He did it for the entire world. And we pray that um, they come to the Lord like we have. That's all, sister. Thank you, sister. It it just reminds me. Yesterday uh, was um, foot washing and um, last supper service in the church. And every Sunday, Christians have last supper in the church. Every Sunday. Every Sunday we have communion. And that is just one step before Lord Jesus Christ Give, give himself on the cross for the sins. Just one one step, just one step. And if he didn't die, if he didn't die, for centuries, Christians around the world wouldn't have Last Supper. They wouldn't do the Lord's Supper at all. Like, if you can't think anything else, okay, just look at that. For centuries, Christians around the world, or every Sunday, having Lord's Supper, every Sunday, if he didn't die, that wouldn't happen at all, at all. And uh, sadly, there are religions out there still believe that it didn't happen. Such a, such a heartbreaking reality uh, that there is an ideology who believes that. Uh, beloved, thank you very much for expressing importance of uh, death of Lord Jesus Christ. And of course, today is Good Friday, but we know story doesn't st stop there. On Sunday, he's going to walk out of that grave. That's the beauty of our God. And sorry, just a second. That's the beauty of our God. That's the beauty of our God. And um, and um, as he walks out of that grave, the privileges we are given is amazing. But before I finish, I want everyone to remember what Daughter of Christ said. Out of billion people out there, out of billion people out there, God looked at Daughter of Christ and then said, I love you. I am going to give myself for you. And Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross for daughter of Christ. Lord Jesus Christ died on that cross for me. It is personal. It is 
he made it personal. Therefore, he deserves all my worship. He deserves all my worship. Um, beloved, I'm going to play a song. Okay. You, were, you weren't here when we played at the beginning. So in case you missed the song, I'm going to okay. play the song because it is absolutely goes with the uh, crucifixion of Lord Jesus Christ, what we are talking about. Okay. And by God's grace, we will see everyone for another live stream. Or if nothing, uh, if nothing kind of happens for another live stream, we are confident because the death and resurrection of Lord Jesus Christ. We will see you at the bosom of the Father. So let's remember why the Lamb of God gave himself for us.
paz por 